Good morning to all. And we begin, we gather together in prayer today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, gathered in to the love of God, the love of the Holy Spirit joins us together this day. We pause for a moment on this, this Lenten Friday to, to call to mind our sins and our struggles and more be embraced by the loving mercy of our God. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to enjoy Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thought. To see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds him aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words are be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that he may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God, neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the souls reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord, Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he writes. The, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord, out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones; not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on bread alone, but in every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory, Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel to Judea because the Jews had killed him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, 
he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and you also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own. But the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Any of us perhaps seen or heard of the movie series Mission Impossible uh, know uh, an iconic scene that usually happens in films. For those who uh, aren't acquainted with them, uh, the storyline in each of these films is, is quite similar. The main character, Ethan Hunt, who's played by uh, Tom Cruise, uh, is, given, is given a mission. He's, uh, he's part of this uh, top secret government agency that uh, is called in when, when a crisis or a catastrophe is brewing. Uh, to come in and, and, to, and to solve it, to, to, bring a, to bring a resolution to it. And there's always this iconic scene, usually at the beginning of the movie, in which a message comes to, to Ethan Hunt, and he is asked, does he want to receive this mission? He's, he's given a sense, a taste of what this top secret is, and then he's to make the decision. Does, does he want to accept it? Do you accept your mission, or do you not? And usually in most of the movies, in all the movies, he does accept his mission. And that, that iconic scene comes to mind as I listen to these scripture readings, as we listen to these scripture readings today. As they seem to bring out some of the challenges that we can face. The challenges that come to us. We, we hear today in that first reading this, this detailed description of how, of how the, the evil one is, is setting out to... to oppress and to persecute and to, and to harm the just person, out to, out to trip the person up, to, 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 to kind of to, to, bring, to bring an end to the good works that they're seeking. And as we turn to the gospel today, we also hear once more this, this opposition, this that Jesus gets it as he goes about his own mission. And perhaps for us, it's, it's a, a, a reminder calling to mind of, of our own challenges, the challenges that, that we face, and most certainly in these days, the, the great challenge of, of COVID, of, 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 this, of this pandemic that is, that is amongst us and, and seeking, to, seeking to cope with it, seeking to handle it, seeking to, to try to do what we can to, uh, to limit the spread of it. We might have of our, our usual challenges, perhaps some of them that are a little bit more ramped up in these days, closer quarters and, and our way of life is, is a bit more constrained. But whatever those challenges are, we, we know that uh, we're, we're brought before them and we're brought before them with Christ. And it's Christ who perhaps asks us to, to receive those challenges, to receive them with, with faith and with confidence that as, as he walks with us, as he accompanies us, we can indeed, with Ethan Hunt perhaps in a way, say that we accept this mission. We accept these challenges, knowing that our God, that Christ, goes with us, walks with us, and strengthens us in the midst of them. Let us now stand and bring before our God today our petitions, our prayers, our hopes, our desires, all placing them before his loving mercy. For missionaries, may the Lord strengthen their zeal to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in passing laws protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for righteousness', righteousness sake, bless them with the courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our family of faith. May the Lord bless us in our Lenten efforts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they rest in paradise with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a St. John's parishioner, Kathy, who's uh, struggling with some health issues. We ask that God will, will lift her up, envelop her in his loving care and his healing power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we present and bring these things before you this day with a great confidence that no matter what challenges we might face, no matter what might come our way this day, in the future, that you are with us, that your presence strengthens and heals and raises us up through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all the holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you to grace. Lift our hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn. Be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you in for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Evangelist, St. Joseph, and all of the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. The blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please pardon me for not mentioning the uh, intentions of this Mass. We have uh, prayed this Mass for uh, Bernie Cowan uh, Jr. and Elizabeth Helen Fry. And let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Safe and blessed day.